Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T. Now, hey, man, we are back with another food review, coach. Y'all couldn't tell from the title today. We about to check out this Pizza Hut Detroit style pizza. Now, we actually did a review to this pizza when it initially came out. I want to say that was like close to a year ago now. Let me drop the clip for y'all. Y'all ain't seen it. Either way, it's time, coach. It's time. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. And them pepperonis with the cup on it. Like this one here. That like cups up when you warm it up or put it in the oven. You can tell the difference. And that sauce is so good. When you first taste it, it low key tastes like some. Nigga! Finally! <laughs> hey, your boy was enjoying that, you feel me? But, um, well, first of all, we just got back full-fledged into the food reviews. Or, I ain't gonna say full-fledged, but we just jumped back into the food reviews a couple days back. We dropped the uh, review to the new Wingstop chicken sandwich. If y'all haven't seen it, I'll drop a link up there. Be sure to go check that out. I actually tried that in uh, the garlic palm, garlic palm flavor with the ranch. That ranch just brings it over the top for that chicken sandwich, bro. But that's a little bit off topic. We here for this a Detroit style pizza. You feel me? Is this gonna be the thumbnail? Maybe we'll see. But hold on. Matter of fact, let me... hey, that hey, that might be the thumbnail. I ain't gonna lie to you, but this thing is looking good, coach. I'm gonna get y'all a little up close. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. I might throw that up right now as we talking, but um, we did a review to, which I think I, I already mentioned, but we did a review about a year ago. This was literally my favorite pizza, period, bro. It didn't matter where I was going. The Detroit style was my favorite. I was getting, I want to say for at least like two months. I mean, not like every day, you feel me? But I was definitely getting it like close to once a week. And I called them one day and they said, uh, Yeah, we, uh, sorry, we, we have stopped selling that one. <laughs> Brother, I was sick. I'm like, bro, this is literally my favorite pizza, period. I was getting pizza from nowhere else. That's all I was getting. Them cup pepperonis was hitting. But as of recent, since they didn't have this, I was just going to Little Caesars. They had their pepperoni stuffed crust pizza that was hidden. They stopped selling that because it was for a limited time. Then just recently, like a week and a half ago, I got put on to the chicken bacon ranch pizza from, uh, from Domino's. And I switch out the ranch sauce for a garlic parm sauce. Bro, that thing hits too. And I get it with the pan pan pizza for the actual crust that mess is hidden i'm not gonna lie to you but pizza Hut is back with the detroit styles only for a limited time so y'all be sure to go check it out if y'all want to uh if y'all want to try this out now i added extra because the type i got i was going to get the double pepperoni and add sausage but i ended up just getting the meaty one and the meaty one only had the cup pepperoni so i added regular pepperonis it looks like they may have put like eight regular pepperonis on here in total. Literally, it's like it's like they got a regular pepperoni, then a cup pepperoni right on top of it. Oh, brother. And y'all see they got that sauce sitting on top. Like I said, I got the meaty one. I believe it comes with pepperoni, sausage, with the cup pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and it might, I think, I think that's it. But like I said, I added the double pepperoni. Now, before me adding that extra pepperoni, the total was $14 and like $14, like 70 cents or something. But it was $1.40 to add the extra pepperoni on there. So that brought it up to like 16 and some change. Um, I need to tell you, my hoodie been messed up the whole time and stuff. But if I don't know, it. We are in the whip doing this, but it's just pitch black outside right now. So 
Hey, drop a like. You feel me? Your boy out here going crazy. Let me see if we can get this thumbnail one time. Unless we just gonna use the use the other one. But let me go ahead and take take a bite. Give y'all one more look at that. Is it as good as I remember? She got crust. Got those, got that crusted edge on there. Boy. Thing is hidden. Now, for some reason, I feel like the first time I had it, it was definitely a little bit more crispy. And they are saying that this one has 50% more cheese on it. I want to eat another slice of this, brother. I ain't going to eat the whole thing, though, because I want to go home and... Sit back, relax, and eat this while I'm watching so This thing is in. I'm about to bite some of this. Y'all gonna <clears throat> y'all gonna hear the actual crust. We gonna see if it got a little cr crackle to it. The only thing that I want, like I said, maybe slightly crispier for the edges, maybe. That's not an extreme concern, but just slightly crispier would have been a little more perfect for me. The cheesiness on it, I like it. It reminds me of like they, uh, their uh, cheese sticks almost, like with the amount of cheese that's that's uh, actually on it. Um, It doesn't seem like it's like just extremely cheesy, like over the top cheesy, but it is cheesy not dry or nothing the sauce on top all, all i want is more toppings i'm not gonna lie to you because they showed it was three toppings on this pizza i gotta say regular pepper or the cup pepperoni sausage bacon i added sausage and for some reason it looked like it might be ham on now that's bacon but I added the cup pepperonis. Pizza Hut, this is one of the... Now, I don't know if it's just this particular Pizza Hut that I come to, which they normally do a pretty good job of having the, like, pizza hot and fresh and good to go. But with the toppings, like, I feel like maybe it's a corporate thing or maybe it's just this specific Pizza Hut. But it doesn't matter how many toppings I get. It always seems like I have a three-topping pizza. I don't know why. I've gotten a three-topping before where I got pepperoni, sausage, bacon on it. And I've also ordered a meat lover's pizza. And for whatever reason, the meat lovers look just the same as a three topping pizza when the meat lovers co comes with uh, ham and bacon on it. So I'm like, I mean, I can understand y'all don't want to overload the actual pizza with like toppings. But if I pay for extra toppings, I'm expecting extra toppings. I don't want you to take off some of the other toppings that you would have already put on a regular pizza to make it evenly distributed i guess like give me the toppings i paid for bruh like literally on this piece it's like there has to be no more than like 10 regular pepperonis and it's eight slices of pizza meaning that it's like one to two slices or one to two slices of pepperoni per slice if that so that's that's my only complaint but i've had that complaint with any pizza pizza not just with their 
Detroit styles, really with any piece. It doesn't matter how many toppings I end up adding. They always give me the same. Domino's kind of did a similar thing too. Because I added the chicken bacon ranch. I added pepperoni on it. And uh, there was a slice I had that had literally no pepperoni. I'm like, how, how is this the case? If it's only chicken, bacon, and pepperoni, how do you miss a whole slice that has zero pepperoni on it? That makes no sense to me. And I'm paying like almost $2 for the extra topping. That's tough. Let's take one more bite though and we out of here. Mm. I'll just tell y'all, bro, I am happy that the Detroit style is back. <clears throat> but almost $16 for this pizza, that is a little OD to me. I know there's some places that, you know what I'm saying, taxing on the pizza, but Sixteen. I mean, it does hit. Don't get me wrong. It hit. So I will be back. But if this pizza was around twelve dollars, that'd be a perfect, perfect entry level for me as far as paying for. It. And then, then I add an extra topping, bring it up to like thirteen, fourteen, maybe. Which this original pizza would have been fourteen or just over fourteen dollars without the extra topping. So fourteen, I guess, ain't extremely bad. It's not. It's not really that bad. But 12 would have been perfect. It's like I'm finishing the whole thing. This is literally like a cheese stick though, bro. All that cheese on there. No toppings, just straight cheese and crust. What would I do without my Mike Tyson McGriddle? Mm-mm-mm. Pizza Hut, you're back at it again. But I'm be honest, I don't know if this hits as, as good as it did the first time around. Like it's it's still hidden. Don't get me wrong, it's still hidden. All I need is them toppings, bro. Give me the toppings and I'm good to go. I have nothing to say, honestly. I keep it a buck with you, but either way, bro, that was our review of this new Pizza Hut Detroit style pizza. Like I said, it's back only for a limited time, so it's not like a permanent menu item, but I wish they would make this a permanent one because this is one that this literally, if Pizza Hut had this, I would get no other pizza. Well, the Chicken Bacon Ranch from Domino's, like I said, they kind of got me on that. But I would get no other pizza from Pizza Hut, that's for sure. You feel me? I feel like I'm like, what is this car doing next to me, bro? But either way, it's getting a little hot in here. I ain't got my air on or nothing. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this. If you're still here, why... <laughs> If you're still here rocking with your boy, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know if y'all going to try this out. If you already tried it out the first time around, let me know what y'all favorite ones were because I think they added a veggie one this time around. I'm not trying that. Uh, it's either going to be classic pepperoni or the meaty one for me. Pause. But either way, y'all get down there in the comments. Uh, let me know if y'all rocking with this new Detroit style piece if you tried it out. Uh, if you haven't and you're going to try it out, let your boy know in the comments. Hey, man, I ain't got too much else to say. Like I said, appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. If you're still here tuned in, stay tuned for the food reviews coming up soon. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but if y'all know of any new fast food items that are dropping soon or that have already dropped, getting ready to drop, come back to the videos, drop a comment, let your boy know. You feel me? Ain't got too much else to say. On the road to 25K subscribers, 18, appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like always, say y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting a lit over here. Catch y'all on the next video.